welcome to Craft Little Things and Andrea, thanks for joining me. Um, I've got a few little things I want to update on today, but I'm going to do a project using this bunny stamp. Um, it's a retired stamp from Stampin' Up! and I've never, never used it. I don't think I've ever used it, so um, I want to try it out. I'm not very good with these sort of stamps. Um, I've not got much experience with them, so I've got these sort of three layer stamps. So I'm going to try it. But first of all, there are a few updates that I wanted to make. Um, first of all, an apology for the state of my hands. <laughs> my, um, I'm packing and cleaning and everything, so nails are not a good thing to have. And the ones, my own natural nails are just torn to pieces. Um, and I've been finding little pots of varnish and trying them on my nail before I decide whether I'm throwing them away or not. Because, um, second apology, I'm moving house. Now, I'm not apologising for moving house. It's an exciting time. It's a great thing. Um, but um, that leads to an apology for not uploading very often and my uploading over the next couple of weeks is going to be even worse um, because I'm not going to have broadband, um, uh, Wi-Fi, whatever we call it these days. I'm not going to have the internet um, as much. So we've got to wait about a week, I think, for BT to install. Um, so, yeah, so things are going to be a little bit sporadic. And obviously, as I'm moving in, so yeah, in so and that's whatever. that. And then um, the other thing um, that I wanted to also update you on was there's lots and lots of rumours and stuff going on about stamping up and what's happening and blah, 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 blah. Um, <coughs> I don't know what's going to happen with my stamping up journey. I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on being a demonstrator or not. Um, I'll put that on the table straight away. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have the time. Um I'm going to see how things work out. I'll definitely carry on crafting and uploading videos and sharing what I love. But I don't know about... I'll still use the products, but I don't know. Anyway, there's been a few things. First thing that people are talking about is this, which is the trimmer. Now, stamping up, up evidently, I didn't even spot this, but um, I heard people talking about it. Stamping up are evidently discontinuing this. So this is not going to be available anymore um, once... Um, I think once the retiring list has gone. So if you want one of these, now's the time to grab one. Also, the replacement blades. You'll know that these trimmers, one of the pains with them is that you have to buy blades. Um, the, I think they're £5 something. I've got a load under here, fortunately. Um, for the cutting blade, the cutting blades, the dark one, the scoring blades, the light one. Um, these are going to be, the cutting blades are going to be available but they're going to be limited. I think they're limited to three packs at the minute and they're going to be increased to a, a minimum of six per order. And then when they're gone, they're gone. There might be some intermittent supplies arrive and they'll just be sort of sold on an as and when basis. But yes, this is going and there isn't going to be a replacement immediately. So this will not be in the new catalogue in June but there will be something coming out later down the line. Um, don't know what, um, but it, it'll be something. <laughs> so there isn't going to be a cutting um, or trimming tool in the Stampin' Up! offering in June. So if you want one of these, and they are really good, it's just this blade issue. But you know, I found a way to make my blades last longer, which is to put um, a piece of normal paper i've been using my uh, discarded um grid paper uh just put one sheet of that and it just lifts your paper slightly it gives you a much more precise cut and it uses a different part of the blade um and it makes oh if you cut more than one piece of paper at a time you just get a much better cut and that's because the blade is a is a triangle shape so obviously it gets blunt at the point but then the sides of the blade are really sharp and so if you lift your paper up, you're using the sides of the blade rather than the point. Simple. So, yeah, so that's one of the things people are talking about. The other thing that's not going to be available in the new catalogue is the Big Shot machine. Now, from what I can gather, Stampin' Up! are changing their whole... that they're, they're going to have their own embossing um, and die-cutting machine, from what I can gather. Um, and at the minute they go, I think what happens at the minute is they go through the the big shot and the dies that um, are sold by Stampin' Up and manufactured by Sizzix, who are a company in their own right, of course. Um, and I think what 
from what I can gather, what's going to happen is Stampin' Up! are going to just have a direct manufacturer relationship. So there's not going to be an, a company in between. So they're going to have um, they're going to have a, their own Stampin' Up! die uh, cutting and bossing machine platform. And they're going to have um, the dies will be produced directly by the manufacturer. So there'll be no Sizzix involved. Um, and they've stopped calling it the big shot. They start just referring to it as an embossing machine um, and die cutting machine. So that's all going to change. So I don't know what that means. There's been some issues with the supply of dies. Some of you might have experienced those with back orders and delays and things like that. And one of the reasons they're doing this is to stop that happening again. Uh, so I don't know if there's been some sort of and I know there's obviously issues with designs being ripped off uh, by Chinese companies. And I guess that three-way relationship doesn't help with that. So uh, a direct relationship might prevent... I don't know. So that's that. Um, the other thing that's happening is in the new catalogue, there are going to be some slight price increases in the UK. I'm not sure if they're going to be price increases everywhere but a couple of the ones i've spotted are um paper packs are going to go up some you know cardstock packs are going to go up something like 50p um a pack um there's, there's only a it's not it's nothing major last time it was quite i i was a bit shocked last time by how by the price hikes but um they're not so bad this um this time um yeah there was a couple of things i noticed um let me just have a look not massive like 25p most of the most of them seem to be about 25p embossing powders are going up from 475 to 550 so that's 75p a pot which is quite a lot um, but most things are going up so 25p so 12 by 12 cardstock is going up from 11.25 to 11.75 and normal cardstock is going up 8 uh, 25p we did also get a little sneak peek into the new ink colors um we know that they're called Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray and Terracotta Tile. So I think we're going to have a sort of a, a purple, a pink, maybe a, well we'll have a purple, a pink, a sort of a terracotta colour obviously. Seaside Spray, I wonder what that's going to be like, a green or blue, Pretty Peacock could be a green or a blue as well, could be a purple, I don't know, we'll see what they are, and we've also had a little insight into um, what's going to carry over as well, we know that Heartland stamp set's going to carry over, sorry for everything, this little piggy, Crafting Forever, Magical Mermaid, Hold On To Hope, Barn Door, Beautiful Day, Buffalo Check, or special celebrations, handwritten, they're all still going to be in the new catalogue because they're listed in the price increases. Retiring this comes out in a next week. Um, I think it's the 15th. So yeah, there's um lots of things going down. So I hope that's uh, informed you and um, stopped you getting as confused as I was becoming about the things that I was hearing online. Um, if you are a customer or a demonstrator who isn't clear about what's going on, that's what's going on. Right, so I think that's the end of my um, updates and I'm going to start making this card now. So I'm going to just take a piece of very vanilla and I'm going to have a go with this. Now, these are a bit grufty, so I'm going to use my stamp and scrub, which I nearly sold, but then I realised I'm not um, allowed. <laughs> but then I realised I wanted it. What you do with this is you spray your stamping mist 
on your wet side you get your stamp that's covered in ink and you give it a rub and then you give it a dry I think the thing is with purples and reds that they don't ever come clean side yeah these are just really stained they, they still work just, just stained right so I'm assuming this is the thing you see I don't know so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go with the this is the most detailed I don't even know if this is how you do it, but this is where I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go with the most detailed. I'm going to try a brown one first. I'm going to go with early espresso. My most detail. Give it a little, a good old. That hasn't come out very well, is it? Is that how it's supposed to come out? And then, crumb cake. I'm going to use crumb cake. I mean, this is where you'd use a stamping platform, but I've just sold my stamping platform because I just don't use it. Well, that's no good, is it? What on earth? Let me try this one. Again. Well, that's dire. Right, let me try different colours. I'm not feeling that at all, are you? <laughs> and there'll be people, people who use these all the time will be screaming at the screen. You're supposed to use this one first. Right, I've got Pacific Point, Pool Party and Coastal Cabana here. So I think I'm going to splodge on in Pool Party. I don't even know if I've got the right side. <laughs> I told you I'm, I'm no good at this sort of thing, didn't I? I'm not sure I've got the ink on. The ink doesn't seem to be going on. Well, let's just see what's happened. Oh, it did. Went on. So that's that. I think it, it should be a bit more solid than that. These bits should be coloured. Colored and then I suppose... I'll put this one on in Coastal Cabana, which is not the same as Pool Party. Probably won't even notice any difference. Just read as I sold the reinca for this. Oh, it looks like a bunny from hell. Hang on a minute. Let's not let's not let's not let's go panic. I'm going to get the Pacific Point. Was that the one I just used? No, this is all just used. And then this is the really detailed one. So let 
me get it all inked up. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen next? Oh wow, I did it. Ah, so you see, you see that, it's lovely. Oh wow. Ooh. Let me clean up my stamps and do another one in pink. I think I was just using the wrong colours. So that's the blue one, very chuffed, very chuffed. Now I'm going to do a pink one and what I'm going to use for the pink one is Berry Burst, Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. So having learned from my mistakes, I'm going to pop my bunny this sort of splodge on so that's this stamp give it a bit of a twist make sure you get plenty of ink on it I'm going to be cutting it out a little bit I'm not bothered about these little patches at all so that one was done in Blushing Bride now, oops, I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to use this stamp, Flirty Flamingo. Clean my block. I mean, there's no point in getting a stamping platform out for this, is there? Really, you can, I mean, I can see that I'm not on top of my work. Press that down. And don't be dismayed by what you see. It could be a little bit more precise, but... It's not. <laughs> and then I'm going to use Berry Burst. And I'm going to use this really detailed stamp here. Oh, my Berry Burst stamp has got ink, um, glitter in it. Might have a bit of a glittery bunny going on if any of that transfers. And then give that a press. Oh, wow! We have a little... Isn't that cute? Oh, wow. Well, I'm easily impressed and easily made happy. I'm just happy to be crafting, to be honest, because... Just haven't had a chance to do any. So, those stamps can go back in there. And then, oh, they're so cute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a card out of these. So, oh, look at this got these cute little flowers that have never been used there's three of them one two three like little daisies so cute so I'm going to take those they're these three little flowers and I'm going to get a block and I'm going to pop them on like so And then, do you know what I'm going to do? You probably do. Probably figured it out already. I'm going to take this is a piece of scrap, um, very vanilla. How shall I just do a? Yeah, I'll just do a new sheet. And what I'm going to do is half in the blues and half in the pinks. So I'm going to start with, in fact, what I'm going to do, no, yeah, I'm going to use the same three colours. So I'm going to start with the Bushy Bride. I'm just going to randomly print those around. I think the 
No, sentiment. What sentiments have we got? Happy Easter. I think happy Easter. Oh, I'm just going to stick with that. And I'm going to stick them onto the block. with the Happy Easter. So I'm just going to pop, pop Happy Easter onto my block. Right. And then we'll pop those back into there. And then, like I said, I'll get to get a punch to punch these two sentiments out. I'll use my trimmer to trim this down um, and to trim these down. And my card, my card backgrounds, my card blanks can be, just gonna make them very, very simple. So I'm going to just do a 4 by 6 standard card. And that's it. So I'll stick them together now. So I'm just going to burnish my score line. And then I will take my ribbon to pop this on. <laughs> it would help if it was straight, wouldn't it? Thank you. I just, I just find that these tape applicators are great for popping ribbon on with. But then I'd use wet glue. To apply my layers. Right at the bottom. There we are, two slightly different variations on the same card. Aren't they cute? So cute. Well, thanks for joining me for that experience um, and for my updates and everything. I um, hope it clarified a few things and explained where I am at and what's going on with me. Um, and also showed you how you can turn disaster into triumph. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.